Hello everybody, this is Ben 85 and welcome to A Winter Wonderland. Another episode of Turf Firmacraft Season 2. And yeah, it is it is dead winter. It is snow everywhere, it is ice everywhere. And uh, I've actually been working on building a little bit here, um, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I ended up building a second forge here, just so we have two of them to work with. Um, I think there's going to be a doorway here heading out this way. Uh, this got expanded out. It's now bigger. It's, uh, what, 5 by... 5 by 4, apparently. I was going to make it 5 by 5, but apparently I couldn't do my math right. And it's also 3 deep now, so we'll get lots of charcoal in one batch. Um, but what I want to get into is the ability for steel making, uh, which is what this opening right here is for. Uh, we need to set up a blast furnace. I'm actually looking at this now. One, two, three, four. Unless we set it back in a little bit. Maybe we will. Um, we don't have enough space. I think we need five wide. Unless we consider this part of it, but I'm not going to. So, yeah, I guess I didn't design that as well as I hoped. Uh, but one of the biggest things we have to do here is we have to start making fire clay. Fire clay, right here, is used for a lot of things. We can make the crucible, which is one of the things that I want to get. Uh, it can also be made into fire clay, clay fire bricks. Uh, apparently you can make dinner plates as well. This guy, if we smelt it we can make fire brick and turn into fire brick blocks we need a bunch of these fire brick blocks um, to make the blast furnace so that's what we're going to be looking at here I have a bunch of kaolinite I'm not sure how much we get here so that did one of them we get four okay so I think we're going to get quite a bit here but we need a whole lot ground up and so this is probably going to take a while. I probably should have made another one of these. Um, as far as building goes, like I said, I want to get this forge building up, get that making more sense. We need more wood. Um, I did go out exploring. I got this brick here. It's almost nighttime already. Holy cow. Um, it's fill light. It's getting hard to see because of the nighttime falling but you can see it's got red and and gray in it and I also got some maple trees which are growing so we're gonna use some maple for some stuff um, but I'll be glad when there's no snow in here but uh, let me do some let me do a bunch of grinding here and uh, we'll build some of the components that we need all right guys please uh, please disregard the the death marker over there <laughs> I was picking on a skeleton a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, I was shot by a skeleton. I was picking on a skeleton and I don't have any armor and I didn't have good weapons and it didn't end well. So, uh, yeah, I died. Darn it. Um, let's make some fire bricks here. So, I don't remember. I think it, I don't know if it matters. I actually went through an entire grindstone, which is crazy to think about. And there, that work. Fire clay. Woohoo! Um, so the first thing I want to do is we need to do some napping, and I try not to mess this up. There we go. Get a crucible. I want to get another one. So I want one for a f one of my forges, and I want one, or I need one. They don't stack, right? No. Uh, so we're going to put one on the top of this forge right here. Now when I put that there, I'm not going to be able to use that, am I? Oh, I can. Oh, I can still access everything. But the cool part about this thing is we can, uh, we can heat stuff up really well. Or uh, melt stuff, I should say. And then we should be able to 
take these guys, the ceramic molds, and put it into here, and we'll be able to get ores out of it. I don't think we can do it with iron. I kind of want to see if I can do it with iron. Um, let's get some charcoal going. Let's get this fire going. Because if I could do that with this iron here, that would be awesome. Because I have these partial iron blooms. I'm just curious if I can melt these in here. Ooh, I might be able to. Because then we could clean up our, our iron blooms that we don't have, have done yet. Uh, the other thing I want to do... is we're going to have to heat up one of these guys and make an additional part to the blast furnace um, which is known as let's see here the tweer I think it's called let's see if I can spell it yeah these guys so we'll make it out of wrought iron. Um, oh, it, it takes an iron, iron double sheet. Oh, darn. Okay, we need, uh, we're gonna need four of them, aren't we? Well, then maybe I won't make it with wrought iron yet. Let's just do it out of bismuth for now, just cause that'll be quick and easy to do. So we gotta be careful here. Cause I don't wanna overheat the bismuth bronze. <gasps> it does work. Sweet. Yep. Um, let's check these. Okay, very hot, we're fine. And then this one too. Look at that, we got 120 units of wrought iron. Sweet. And we've got unshaped wrought iron here, which has partials in it. So can we just do this? Nope, nope, don't wanna do that. I wanna do it in here. Can I do this? It does go in. We're gonna make some extra ingots and we're gonna have 40 left. Can I put them in here? No. Okay, so we still are gonna have a little bit of partial, unfortunately. But we do have an extra ingot. Sweet, all right, that makes me happy. We're not wasting ingots then. Um, let's see, can work. So we wanna weld them in the sheets. Or weld them into double ingots, which turns them into sheets, and then weld the two sheets into a double sheet is how that works. So we're gonna wait till these guys are weldable. This has got a lot of heat in it. Can weld, can work. Oh, I don't, I do have what I need in there. Oh, can work, I wasn't fast enough. Need some more charcoal in there. I gotta be careful with this guy too, because I gotta be able to work this. This this is uh this is the fun of metalworking. I haven't done this with you guys uh, on camera in a while. So we gotta be careful here, yeah. See, we're getting into the danger zone here. So let's put this one to here because this is the hottest one. So we'll make a sheet and it's just hammers. Nope. Let's try one more set too. There we go. And the other one I'm guessing is not hot enough yet. I can still be worked. So we're gonna have to weld this guy with this guy.
pen weld. I'm trying not to lose one of these. <laughs> I think I start all over. All right, so this guy needs to, get to be made into a sheet. So we'll go. And then do one more set here. Can work. Darn it. Neither of them are hot enough. And now they're off setting temperature. That's okay. We'll take this one to the danger, this one to as high as we can take it. And we should be able to do it. And then we'll have that portion, I guess, and then we gotta process it one more time, don't we? So one there, one there, weld it, put it here. Now we can make this. Ooh, we're close. Oh, bingo, did it. Well, just like that, we are, we're good to go. So that's one additional piece that we needed. We'll let the forge burn out because I don't want to process anything more right now. Uh, we'll put this in here, we'll put this in here. This is important. We're going to use that for steel making. And the rest of these, I think I need 100 of them to make a full blast furnace. And I think we're going to do a full one right away. The other thing that we're going to have to do to make the blast furnace is we need metal sheets. Um, we're going to need 12 sheets per level, and we need 60 total sheets to do a full one. Um, sheets, of course, are two metal ingots, so we need 24 ingots to make the first level, and we do not have enough here, so I need to start processing more steel, so that's why I'm not, or more iron, so that's why I'm not ready for it yet. Um, I might even go out and try to find, we've got all this poor limonite. Oh, I was going to see if this will, can this melt in there? No, you have to split it, I think, and refine it first. Um, actually, before this burns out, Oh, she's burning out, she's burning out. Go, 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 go. I think I refired it. Uh, let me warm this up and we'll just see if I can refine that. All right, it's workable. So we can refine it, which is just... Oh, really? Oh, I must have done it right when it was starting to get hot enough. Oops. It makes sense. It should be able to go up into the yellow almost. Because we can take it all the way up to welding. Because I, I pulled it out right here. Oops. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't get any further on it. Alright. Let's actually warm it up. Uh, the other thing I was looking at too, and I didn't even account for this. The blast furnace takes another crucible. So we're going to need to use some more of the fire clay. And then it takes double sheets of wrought iron. So we have a whole lot of this iron to work up. Um, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else probably and get some more. Uh, I think it's one more set here. Okay, so we've got refined iron. Can we just throw it? No, it's gotta be split. Make sure she's hot enough. Uh, we do have to take it to the next step, and then I think we could throw it in there. Which will take less forging. But we can also utilize the forging for our stuff here. So we're a novice in most things. Prospecting, we've almost reached the first one. Agriculture, obviously we've got all the way. Toolsmithing, I'm almost to the next level. We're getting there. I'd like to max a lot of those out. I don't know what the max is. Um, so I guess the next thing here is we need to split it. Oop. I'm not 
that. Does that fix it? There we go. So I'm guessing we can just do this. And melt it a bunch. Yep. So, I think I'm just going to do it that way and pour it into the molds. Because that seems to be an easier way of doing it. Uh, we can also make all of our... Um, our alloys that we need to make into that. Which is going to be an awesome way of doing it. We'll see how much we get here. We can also use up some of our partials and get it down to... We got two partials here. Oh, it already melted. Start pouring it in there already. I think it's still climbing because I was pressing it so many times. Yep, it's still climbing. So how come this is not going in? Or maybe it's not hot enough. There we go. It wasn't hot enough, that's why. Oh, it is. It's. I think it's cooling. Yep. It needs to be hot enough, otherwise it will not pour. Interesting. Well, I know iron is on the higher side. The rest of the alloys melt really easily, so it's not a problem. Let's grab a bunch of these. We've got, oh, we got 600 exactly. So we'll be able to perfectly even this out and we'll have a bunch more iron ingots. Um, so then I'm gonna go look for another place to get some more iron. And I think we'll go mining for a little bit longer here while it's still winter. All right, I'm at the bottom of a deep dark hole here. Let's see if we can get this to go right. I just want a path up here, just in case. Um, so I actually marked this. Uh, this is magnetite. That's not far away, because right here is home. Uh, I forgot that that was this close, but just another tip on, on finding this kind of stuff here. Um, I was going over here and I wasn't getting really anything. Every once in a while, traces, yep, yep. Medium sample, large sample, very large. So I knew it had to be close to where I was. And if I went up there, you know, you don't see anything up here. Well, I guess you do right there. So I thought, well, it's got to be here. So I dug a tracer hole in this direction because the biggest thing you look at is, remember, this is very large sample here, but if you go on this side, it becomes small, maybe large. So you know you're on the edge of it. You know it's this direction, and it's probably a little bit further this direction, but I didn't see it in this at all, or in that uh, little valley or cutout, whatever you want to call it. So I cut this section out, didn't see anything, went a little bit lower, and lo and behold, Magnetite. I get any closer to prospecting? Ooh, I am almost at the next level. So I now know I'm on the edge of it. I'm going to have to do some digging in here. See how much of it I can actually find. Hopefully I can get a bunch of it. The nice part is, is this stuff is twice uh, the amount Oh, this is 50. This is regular. So I was using poor limonite. Uh, this is regular iron, basically. So I just got to figure out which direction the vein wants to travel in. And just kind of find the center. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be further this way. Judging by how it is. Just, just kind of for a feel of how ores tend to be in terra firma craft. And uh, hope we don't get a massive cave in. That kills us. 
that would be a big plus. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of, uh, of iron mining here. Oh yeah, see, we're starting to get into the iron vein a lot better here. We're going to get lots of iron. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful right in here. Oh, there's so much ore. I don't know how dark it is for you guys. It's a little dark for me, but it's also the middle, middle of the night going into here, and I don't have a lot of torches, so. So this right here is eight ingots already. This is seven ingots, so we got 15 ingots. Figure we're gonna need, much is it? We need, uh, In 24,000 units. Well, this is 100 and this is 1600, right? Oh, this is 50 per. So this is 800 units right here. This is 800, so that's 1600 units. So it's a decent amount. That's just for the sheets. That's not including the double sheets that we need. I'm looking at the, the numbers right next to me here on the other screen, so if it seems like I'm reading stuff off, that's because I definitely am. Oh, there's so much iron here. And then uh, I'm going to start processing stuff. And the goal with it being that we can build a blast furnace next time and uh, get a little bit into the steel age, or is the goal. At least start in the steel age. Um, I think we've got everything set up for what we need. I don't know if there's more ores. Um, I'm gonna have to look. The first, first level of steel, regular steel is just processing high carbon steel, which is pig iron, which you get out of the blast furnace, which is all of your iron. But then you've also got black steel, which is the next level, I believe which is high carbon black steel, which is going and putting weak steel and pig iron together. Weak steel is going to be regular steel. And a bloomery, no, and a crucible. Bloomery. Maybe there's another Way that I don't know of. I'm pretty sure I can just put steel and nickel, which is going to be, I guess, nickel. Yeah, I gotta find nickel. And then black bronze, which is gonna be gold, copper, and silver. So, in other words, we're gonna have to start hunting for ores to get to the next level beyond regular steel. Uh, we're gonna have to get a backlog of them, but I want to be able to get into the next tier of stuff. I want to get all the way up to the top tier. Um, just because, to me, that's just kind of the goal to do, right? When it comes to Terraforma Craft, is you want to get everything and do everything. And I seem to be running out of ores now. There's one. Usually they go a little bit further than this, so. Ow. Watch out for the cave-ins. <laughs> I apologize if that was really loud. That scared me too. Sometimes that works though because it uncovers ore that you completely missed. Like the stuff that's over your head. Oh wow, we, uh, we may have come into the vein a little bit low actually. Looks like we might have a whole bunch of ore above us. Like I said, sometimes it's beneficial to have a cave-in because uh, it starts to show you what you missed. But with that, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Um, we've got a pretty good handling of what's going on here and kind of give you a little bit of the, the background stuff that I've been doing a lot of. Um, a lot of the metal work. Now it's going to be a lot of digging. Um, a lot of mining here. A lot of finding ores. This is the cool part about Terraformer Craft is how many ores you can find in a vein. You can just sit here for days and just mine and mine 
and mine, and we're already getting stacks of it. Um, I'll have to start putting them in. I got a barrel with me with a whole bunch of uh, uh, vessels, so I can put a whole bunch of this stuff into the vessels and carry it out with me. At least that's the goal. Uh, so yeah, so that guys, um, we'll we'll work on hopefully getting the blast furnace up and running and get steel for our first time in this uh, season uh, in the next episode. So thank you guys all for watching. I hear a zombie. I think there's a cave nearby. Probably should be watching where I'm digging then. Because it's close. All of a sudden I'm going to fall into a cave and I'm just going to die. I'm curious now. I can hear it. Unless it's below me. It's it's close. Oh, right there it is. Look at that. There's a cave right there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. And uh, as always, take it easy.